Hey everyone, I've got another Leela Chess Zero game for you today. This time it's against Terminator. Again, in the CCC9 Gauntlet's bonus free. And we'll just get straight into it. In this game, Leela is white, Terminator is black. Leela plays e4 and Terminator plays c6 with the Karo Can. Leela plays d4 and now d5. And we get into advanced variation with e5 and black plays bishop to f5. Now the Karo Can is a very hard nut to crack, so we'll see how Leela treats this opening. She plays knight to f3 here, developing a piece, and e6. So straight away black's got all their pawns on white squares, and the bishop is outside of this pawn chain. Um, so this could turn into a very nice position for black. Uh, and after bishop e2 from Leela, black plays c5. And this is similar to a French defence now, but this bishop on f5, it's outside the pawn chain. Whereas in the French defence, the bishop on, is usually on c8 and actually quite worthless in the opening. So, how does Leela proceed? Well, she castles queenside here. Black plays knight c6 and already targets this d4 pawn. So white plays a natural c3 to reinforce d4. Here I think Terminator made a bit of a, a misjudgment. They played bishop g6 in the game. I think h6 was nicer though because it gives the bishop an escape square. Uh, if white ever plays knight to h4. Play could continue bishop e3 and after captures, captures knight g e7 to reinforce this f5 bishop. White can play f4 to reinforce the pawn on e5 and after knight takes d4, c takes d4, queen d7, knight c3, knight c6. This is a rather even game. Uh, so black's doing reasonably well here. So there's no reason why h6 is a bad move in this position. Terminator instead played bishop g6 though and Leela played a3, maybe stopping any knight to b4 or bishop b4 ideas if black captures on d4. So Terminator does actually capture on d4 and Leela takes with the c pawn. So again, this a3 move just stops knight to b4 ideas or bishop b4 ideas. And maybe even threatens to play b4 for white themselves, who knows. Black plays knight g e7, developing another piece. White plays knight c3, just simply developing as well. And now Black plays knight to f5, which gives the black knight a very nice outpost indeed. Uh, and there's only one way to kick this away. And in fact, Leela just goes straight in for the jugular. She plays g4 here, attacking the knight on f5 straight away. Amazing. So Terminator is forced to move, and Leela just captures the knight and isn't scared of queen takes h4, because the g4 pawn is defended by the queen and the bishop. Instead, Leela now plays f4, threatening to play f5 themselves and winning the bishop on g6. This forces black to play h5, um, and Leela's a bit stuck here, so she's got to pretty much push the g pawn to g5. If white captures this pawn, uh, this could be suicide, because after bishop captures, bishop captures and rook captures, uh, queen h2 is threatened. Of course, white can defend with rook f2, but black's got a simple plan now. If they just castle queenside, the plan is to play bishop to e7 and maybe just play rook dh8 and have a triple threat against this h2 pawn. Um, and black's got a very easy position. So white definitely doesn't want to go in for this. Leela therefore plays g5. Now this looks doesn't look aesthetically pleasing for white to be honest. There's a lot of holes on f5 and e4 for black's bishop. So g5 I don't think Leela would have played g5 unless it was absolutely necessary in this position, which it is. In the game, queen h3 is played, uh, and white's got a couple of options here. Rook f3 was touted as a good move by Stockfish. And after queen f5, Stockfish wanted to go for queen a4 and have pins against the c6 knight. And if bishop e7 just played bishop d3, uh, queen g4 and rook g3 to attack the queen. And bishop takes d3, and this is what Stockfish wanted to go into. Um, and this is a really complicated position. So bishop e3, rook h3, um, rook e1 to protect the bishop. Um, and after a6, bishop f2 castles bishop g3. It's really hard to see who's winning this game. Basically, black's got the rook and a piece for the queen. So that's basically 8 points versus 9 but it's very unclear as to who's going to win this position. It looks though white is slightly better, but again, if it was a human playing this, it could swing either way. I wouldn't be very, I wouldn't be 100% confident as white to win this position, to be honest. Leela didn't go in for the complicated rook f3 though. She simply just played king h1, putting their king into a safety square. We've seen alpha zero do this multiple times in their games. 
Terminator plays Queen F5, and Bishop E3 is played. So Lila develops her final piece to secure this D4 pawn, and allows the Queen to move freely. Bishop E7 from Terminator, developing their last piece, and now Lila goes for the open file with Rook C1. A6 from Terminator to stop any Knight B5 ideas that Lila may have. Uh, and Lila plays Rook F3 here. Maybe stopping Queen H3 and threatening to eventually play Bishop D3. I'm not sure what this move does. So Rook F3 does look like it stops Queen H3. Um, and after H4, Lila drops it back to Rook F2. So I think Lila's played Rook F2 here, so Black can't play Bishop H5, which makes a lot of sense. So maybe Rook F3 was just provoking H4. I'm not entirely sure on Leela's move order here, but that seems to make sense. Terminator plays Queen H3, attacking the bishop on E3. So Leela blocks this with bishop to F3. Now, Stockfish actually thought Queen F5 was a good move here for black. But actually, I think Rook D2 is a really good move for white. And I think white gets a better position after Queen H3 and Queen E2. Bishop g4 is threatened, and I don't think there's a way for black to really defend this. If bishop f5 in this position, white actually has bishop g2 attacking the queen. If the queen moves to g4, bishop f3 again, uh, and after queen h3 again, Stockfish doesn't want to repeat moves and they play king g1. Um, and the idea is to play knight to d1 and knight to f2. And I think the reason they moved the king was because bishop e4 may have been an option to pin this bishop against the king so that's why king g1 was played in that position in the game though queen f5 wasn't played by terminator terminator actually played bishop to d8 so rerouting this bishop maybe to a5 or b6 Lila played queen e2 so supporting the bishop on e3 and protecting it and now bishop g4 is a big threat so bishop f5 is played rook g1 is now played Maybe threatening again to play bishop g2 or bishop g4 and reinforcing this g-file. Terminator plays bishop a5, so threatening to take on c3. b4 could be played here, and after bishop b6, queen d2. We're we'll getting to this variation with rook c8 and bishop g2. Uh, and luckily enough, black can play queen g3 here. This is because if h takes g3, h takes g3. Uh, with check, which would be very nice for black indeed. So white can play bishop f3 in this position. After queen h3, g6 takes rook g5. This is actually given as better for white. After knight to a5, there are some tricks, but knight to e2 just solves these, this problem. Knight c4, queen c1, knight d6, uh, and queen e1. And the idea for white is just to play something like knight to g1 and try and win this queen from black. Don't get me wrong, this position is still rather complicated, but it's given as white is better here. In the game though, B b4 wasn't played. Leela just decided to play it simple and play knight to a4 first. g6 was played, so this bishop on f5 looks really nice now. It's very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, it's outside this pawn chain and all the pawns are on white squares. The only problem is that the queen on h3 is really misplaced. Leela plays b4 now and drops the bishop back from, to d8 from terminator and knight c5 is played attacking the b7 pawn bishop b7 is played by terminator so ignoring the threat uh, but Lila drops in a cheeky bishop g2 here attacking the queen queen g4 bishop f3 queen h3 and then now Lila decides to take on b7 rook b8 from terminator attacking the knight uh, and there are an array of moves here that white can play Queen takes a6 could be played, attacking the knight on c6. If castles though, white does have to be a bit careful. Queen c6 here actually um, gets into a drawn position because black can play rook c8, attacking the queen. If the queen moves to a6, black can play rook c3, attacking the bishop. And after rook e1 to defend it, bishop e4 is really nice for black. White can defend everything with queen to f1. But then black can go in for takes, rook takes, and just rook takes b7. Uh, and this is given as an equal position. So here, queen takes c6 would be a mistake. But white can actually play knight to d6 to maintain some sort of advantage. Uh, if bishop captures, pawn captures, bishop e4. White can play rook gf1 to defend the f3 bishop. 
Uh, and after rook fc8 to defend the knight, white can take on e4. The queen takes the bishop on e3. And white can play rook to e2. Queen c3. Uh, and white can go in for this bishop takes g6 idea. And after f takes g6, they can actually play d7. And if rook c7, rook takes e6. And this is given as a, a better position for white. Even though white's actually a piece down, they've got a pawn superiority. Uh, rook takes g6 is threatened, and this d7 pawn is rather a fawn in black's side. So definitely white could have gone in for queen takes a6, but instead Leela chose a, a more simple option. She just played knight d6 check straight away. After bishop takes d6, e takes d6. They play rook b6 to protect a6. Bishop g2, queen g4, so the queen's got a move. And Lily decides to trade. And they also take on d5 now. Discovered attack against this bishop on g4. So everything is traded pretty much. So they've got two rooks and a minor piece each. Um, but after knight d8 and f5, white shows why they have a superior position. So after rook takes d6, white is actually still a pawn up. And they've got a really nice bishop after bishop f4 from Leela. G takes f5 is thrown in, but after rook g1 and rook e6, bishop e5 attacking the rook. Castles. Leonard plays a very nice move, just bishop f6. The knight's forced to move to c6. Um, and after rook takes f5, Leela's just starting picking off these weak pawns that black has. Knight to e7 defends d5. Um, but Leela just plays rook e5 and another bit of material is traded. Rook e8, king g2. Uh, and Leela's plan is just to win this h4 pawn now. So king h7, king h3, knight c6. Rook f1 to attack f7. Terminator captures twice. And Leela takes on h4. So Leela's still a pawn up, uh, but she has this past h pawn now. So king g7, king g4. Terminator plays d4. They've got a past pawn too, uh, but it's not fast enough. Rook f3, rook e4, king f5. Rook e2 attacks h2, but just h4. Terminator tries to get behind this pawn, um, but Leela is wise to it. Um, and you'll see after h5, rook c3, rook f4 attacking e4. Terminator goes in for rook takes a3. Um, after h6, king g8, rook takes d4. This should be a, an easy win for white now. Rook a1 is played, rook d8. Uh, rook f8 so now terminator has to defend this f7 pawn or all is pretty much lost so they play rook f1 uh, but Leela has some nice play she attacks this a6 pawn rook b1 so terminator is countering this uh, but king f5 and Leela's got a great king position here terminator goes in for a few checks but this just allows the king to crawl up the board even more uh, after rook f4 takes takes King takes f7. This is pretty much game over now for Terminator. Rook b8 uh, and King f6. So it's good to see how Leela wins this end game actually. So she uses the rook to block the check. King f5 defends the pawn. Uh, and actually Terminator just goes in now for rook takes g5. Um, and an amateur could finish this off. So King g7, Queen. And Leela just checks mates the Black King. And that's game. So this game is a bit of a weird one because it's really hard to see where Terminator went wrong. The only thing I could think of really was um, this queen is really offside in h4. But it's not very obvious how Terminator can defend because after h5 um, and g5, the queen is a bit trapped for black now. They've got their own pawn stopping the piece getting out. And after king h1, queen f5, bishop e3, the queen is really locked down. There's nowhere to put it. I think Terminator does the best to try and get it out of this position, but um, it just seems to get stranded. And slowly, even though black looks like they have a decent position, they actually don't. The bishop on d8 is rather useless behind this wall shield of black pawns. So yeah, it's just this knight c5 and the winning of material. Slowly Leela just wins um, this b7 pawn, and that's all it takes to win this game, amazingly. And then after knight d6, they just trade everything into a one endgame. 
yeah, so Leela's actually a pawn up here. And basically Black's pawns are really weak in this position and Leela just picks them off. So it's a very nice game. And again, very hard to see where Terminator went wrong. Interestingly as well, Leela finishes Black off rather quickly in this endgame compared to the last two other games. So no messing about from Leela in this game. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video on a very hot day. Uh, please drop me a like or comment or subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more chess videos in the future. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys for watching.